Thanks for joining us here this morning, Peter. Um, we're here to talk about, effectively, the next chapter in the exciting Charles Wells story and what it means to Bedford. A grand story that is uh, that Charles Wells um, came to Bedford or came to fruition in 1876. That's right. Um, yeah. Moved to Queen's Park from Horn Lane in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. Now it's 2019 and you're about to embark on a new journey. We look back to 2016. Um, Marston's purchased the hardware, if you like, at the Queen's Park Brewery yeah. and much of the beer brands. Yeah. And the announcement was that Charles Wells wasn't um, giving up its stake in the brewing market. It was still going to be a brewing family. What next? You know, why have you decided this site and, and you know, why is Bedford still important to you as a family? Well, uh, delighted to say that... At at the beginning of this week, we started work on building our new home. It's uh, just on the outskirts of Bedford by the top of the A6 uh, in the area now known as uh, Fairhill. Uh, it's going to be uh, a, an office space um, for our 75 or so employees who are going to be based there. Uh, there'll be a bar, restaurant, uh, a shop, uh, we'll have a, um, a whole kind of experience uh, and we're also going to introduce the new brewery at, uh, at that site. And that's one of the main things I think that people were most concerned about when uh, the Marston's deal was, uh, was announced, yeah. that Charles Wells was stepping out of the brewing market. But you're still a pub company. Pubs still need to sell beer, yeah. And and effectively, you want to provide your pubs with what you think is is the best beer possible. Uh, absolutely, and um, that's why uh, within our new home, we've set up the new brewery, uh, and um, from there, we'll create a wide range of different styles of beer. So we'll have uh, traditional car scales, uh, but also introduce some some new uh, lagers, a Helles, uh, Bavarian style uh, Pilsner, uh, and um, as well as a number of uh, pale ales, IPAs, uh, and a whole selection of, uh, of different beers. It's it's very exciting, um, and we'll we'll be able to produce that not only in the in the new thirty thousand hectolitre brewery but we're also going to have a, a small uh, nano brewery that's just going to uh, produce sort of 100 uh, litres of beer and that's really so we can invite people from Bedford um, down to the site uh, to get them involved to, to get them to uh, help brew with us and we can we can teach them the glorious art of brewing uh, and then come and have a look around the site and really uh, enjoy what we have. Um, we are conscious that uh, the old site in Queen's Park was always something of a, of a big beer factory and it was always a little bit difficult to get to. Uh, and we want to make this site as inclusive to the people of Bedford as we can. You know, this is where the story started. This is where we want it to continue. And as a, uh, you know, as a Bedford-based family business, we want to make sure that we can open our arms to the, to the people of Bedford, welcome them all in, and give them something to be really excited about, something to, to come and try and um, to talk about, recommend to their friends.